Android permits easy customization using launchers. You can personalize your Android smartphone with just an app, no technical knowledge is needed. There are a variety of Android launchers that targets different users. Customization buffs go for Nova Launcher, but if you prioritize a clutter-free experience over anything, try Minimalistic Android Launcher instead. In this video, we have shortlisted some of the best minimal Android launchers that you should definitely give a try in 2022. But before getting straight into the video, please spare me 50 seconds to thank AppMySite for sponsoring this video. Now, if you're looking for a way to convert your website into a mobile app, then AppMySite is the best platform for you. With the help of App My Site, you can quickly and affordably provide your user with a superior mobile experience. It is basically a web-based software that uses AI to convert your WordPress site into a native Android or iOS app. With the least amount of effort, you can build a very responsive app. You can customize each and every aspect of your app and the best part is, this does work even with online stores powered by WooCommerce. You can try App My Site right now from the link in the description down below. And we have also done a detailed review of App My Site. You can find that link too in the description box. With that being said, let's get back to the video. Kicking off the list with Nigra Launcher, which is a new launcher but its novel approach has made it climb the rank to become one of the best Android launchers. Nigra has a modern minimal UI, sleek animation and is very clean. You choose your favorite apps that will reside on the home screen and navigate to any other hidden app by tapping the vertical alphabet style navigation menu. Notifications from your favorite apps are integrated into the launcher, allowing you to reply without opening an app. Nigra is customizable, but your options are limited, giving its minimalistic nature. It supports widgets, embedded notifications, gesture, and a couple of options to customize the look and feel of the launcher. Most extras like calendar and weather widgets, advanced customization options, pop-up widgets are logged away behind a paywall. To balance it out, Nigra is totally ad-free. Nothing Launcher has been recently launched that focuses on minimalism. It has some basic stuff like widgets, home screen, and some light customization options. Upon first installing the Nothing Launcher, you are presented with a fairly standard layout. You have got four icons in the dock, a Google search widget above them, and then two other icons above that. The default icon pack comes from Nothing, which turns icon into circle, not unlike the Pixel Launcher. There are also very few things you can change once you are in the settings section. There are a few interesting widgets on offer, including an analog clock, digital clock, and weather information. It's mostly meant as a marketing tactic to give people a glance on how the Nothing phone is going to look in terms of software. There aren't a ton of features though, so it likely won't be competing against the big dogs in this space. Next up we have Square Home Launcher. A launcher that's been around since 2016, Square Home might not have a ton of name recognition but is certainly a favorite amongst users that enjoy minimal design and are intuitive to navigate. What's nice is that widgets are supported despite the grid-based layout and you can certainly pick every inch of the screen with all kind of useful shortcuts. The launcher is free to use with a 14-day trial and if you like what you see, you can unlock the full app and its pro features for just $4.99. So if you are into Microsoft style app launcher, prefer minimal design that are straightforward to navigate or are simply looking for something a little different, Square Home has been a mainstay for millions of users. Next up we have Block Ratio Launcher, which has a minimalistic design with tons of customization options. The launcher is offering a new way of looking at your smartphone by giving some unique type of customizations. The best part about the launcher is that it has been designed in a way to let you know about your screen time and manage it efficiently. Your home screen is divided into two sections, giving you a more profound and subtle view of your home screen. The first section consists of a drawer home view where you can manage and see all your applications in an organized way. The second section of this launcher consists of root view where you can manage all your relevant widgets. In terms of customizations, you can change the color of your app, drag and drop similar apps in a sorted category and manage some other stuff on your home screen. The launcher has a simple and intuitive UI with some attractive themes that makes it one of the best minimal Android launchers that you should try. Next up we have Launcher Launcher 2, which is one of the most popular Android launchers out there. Unlike Nova Launcher which is heavy and with tons of customization options, it takes a conservative approach. Launcher 2 includes a clean user interface that mimics Google Pixel phones to achieve minimalistic status. 
It sports a simple application dock just like Pixel Launcher with a very accessible Google search bar and Google Assistant button. But even with its clean approach, Launcher 2 manages to sneak in some additional customization options reminiscent of Google Pixel Launcher. It supports adaptive icons, dock customization, desktop customization and other ways to personalize the experience. Next up we have Wide Launcher which is another interesting home screen replacement app. It's attempting to be different from other launchers by offering a three times wider home screen so you are not limited to your typical home screen size and grid. You also get a lot of customization options including the ability to select icon styles, themes, decor, decor stickers and more. It also comes with its own mini apps called applets that provide a variety of function and can be added to the home screen. Overall, if you are planning to try something different, you should give it a spin. Next up we have Smart Launcher and it is actually quite different from the launchers that we have previously mentioned. It has a sorted app folder that categorizes all your app into six major categories communication, internet, games, media, utilities and settings. This categorization plus the available search button at the top makes it easy to search for apps. It also has a so-called smart search bar at the bottom of the home screen that offers a one-stop shop to search your contacts app, the web and even Google Play Store apps. Smart Launcher provides several customization options from font, style, themes, icon appearance, colors and more. The premium version includes the ability to customization app categories, an ultra immersive mode, multiple homepage widgets, custom icon sorting and pop-up widgets. Next up we have Before Launcher which is an excellent choice if you are looking for a simple launcher that does not get in your way. It's self-described as a minimal launcher where each app shortcut is simply a word on the screen. Changing a wallpaper and a few shortcut is just about as deep as customization gets, keeping things simple but leaving an opportunity for a few modifications so things don't grow stale. So if Nigra Launcher didn't quite do it for you but you are still looking for something that is easily used by a child or grandparent alike then Before Launcher is easily worth a look. So at last we have Zenit Launcher. There are a few choices if you are looking for simplicity in your app launcher. But Zenit Launcher easily goes out of its way to really make things easy. As soon as you unlock your phone you are on a screen that consists of all your apps. And you can even set the scroll direction though the default is vertical which is precisely the way your thumb folds when holding a phone. What's great is that this launcher's simplicity does not hold back theming with a host of customization options to make this launcher your own. The app can be installed for free and if you like what you see you can unlock it in its entirety for just $2.49. So guys these are some of the best minimal android launchers that you should definitely give a try in 2022. So which of the previously mentioned launcher you like the most? Do you know of any other minimal launcher that we should have added to this list? Do let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And for more future videos like this do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid.